But my goodness, have we got to talk about this main event. Corey Sandhagen picking up the win over Chito Vera. Let's look at the scorecards, ladies and gentlemen. Please, please because I feel like yeah. a lot That's... of people are going to debate this one. It was a split decision win for Corey Sandhagen. We kind of thought it was pretty obviously pretty his obvious. fight. But what do you make of the scorecards here? Look at these. Well, you know, I thought obviously Corey won the fight. In my head, there were possibly two rounds where we saw Cheeto start to show a little bit of an aggressive urgency, sense of urgency, po two possible rounds. I did not think that sense of urgency still stole the round. I had it 50-45. Like I said, it's possibly one or two rounds. Joe Ojeda was the judge. I gave it 48 to 47. And for Vera. That is atrocious. How can you be a judge? You should have to explain yourself. You should have to go <laughs> yeah. back to whoever his boss is and explain round for round how he judged it that way because it was completely wrong. You're not going to find someone who is more pro-judge than I am. I am a licensed judge in the state of Missouri, and I am telling you that there is absolutely no way that you can score that fight for Cheeto Vera. I love Cheeto. He didn't win the fight. Yeah. I can see a scorecard 49-46 for Cheeto. There was a round that you might have given to him. You cannot look at that fight and say that Cheeto Vera won that fight. In the judging criteria, more powerful shots, the more damaging shots, yes, they matter more. But volume yep. can make up for the power. Yep. And when you look at the significant strike differential between these two, it is clear as day clear as day that Corey Sanhagen outstruck Cheeto Vera. He had one significant well, strike listen. in the third round. Really. Let's take a look at some of the stats from the fight. Significant strikes 122 for Sanhagen to only 60 for Vera. 69 total strikes for Marlon. Almost 200 for Corey Sanhagen. Three yeah. takedowns for Corey. None for Cheeto. All the control time on the Sandhagen side. And, and can I just correct myself? I want to say, you see right there, six, 60 significant strikes. I said Cheeto only had one significant strike. What I meant to say was, let me correct myself, in the third round, right. he had one strike that was the most significant strike of the match, of the fight. But then Corey... Uh, and immediately got it back with that uppercut combination. And now I saw that as tied. But then Corey went on to take him down. And then the quantity, the buildup, he's just so good. Yeah. He, he mm -hmm. overwhelmed him in an educated yep. approach for the entire 25 minutes. We need to remember, too, when we look at these stats, significant strikes, a jab at distance is considered a significant there strike. A lot of times they're not when significant. When we say I significant, agree. it doesn't mean that they were hard shots. Yeah. Right. Because if you're jabbing from distance, they will always count that as a significant if strike. That's the, the way the statistics are done. Sometimes if it's the shoulder, the body, they exactly. count it as a significant strike. But you can see he didn't. Neither man was tr uh, tremendously damaged. Got locked so, or anything, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, cut from the hairline and right. elbows early. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming, sports, and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.